This map shows the more consistent impacts of an El Nino weather pattern in the United States. In Colorado, we are just south of the warmer than average temperature influence and just north of the wetter than average precipitation influence. So El Nino really has no reliable connection when it comes to winter weather in our state. But there are certain trends that are just consistent enough to hedge a winter forecast. For instance, statewide snowpack in the mountains tends to be below average. In the last four strong El Nino winters, three have been below average, although just slightly below the average of 16.9 inches of snowpack. Snowpack is the measure of how much water is inside the snow that gets stored in our mountains over the winter. While this is not a great trend for our water supply, it's not terrible either, because overall the snow has been very close to average during strong El Ninos. This map is a little more specific. It shows the snowfall trend over the last 15 moderate to strong El Ninos. The areas in yellow and orange, which are the bulk of our northern and central mountains, tend to get below average snow, while the blue areas get above average snow. However, the term below average often gets misconstrued for our mountain areas. For instance, below average snow at Breckenridge Resort could still be 250 inches. While that is below the average, it's still a lot of snow. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.